Hi everyone, this is Juliet, Juliet at Home, and in this video I'm excited to do a review of Learning Herbs Herb Fairy Program. Before I continue, do me a big favor, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. I don't want you to miss any of the new content I'm putting up. So what is Herb Fairies? So it's a program and it is designed towards children, but I have to say I love it myself. Um, so there's a series of books. These are the print copies of the books. They also come in digital form and there are um, MP3 recordings that come with it as well. Um, there's 13 books. Each one goes through an herb um, and it's a story of children and they're just, they're great stories in general, um, fantasy, magic, herbs. And as you go, you learn the healing property of that particular herb. So there are actually 13 books to go with the 13 herbs that are highlighted. And um, I'm going to show you what the book, the herbs are in a minute. They go, um, it, I, the program is designed, I believe, to be started in April. And it goes from April through April. Um, and it's kind of designed so there's spring herbs in the spring and summer herbs in the fall and in the summer, fall herbs in the fall and winter herbs in the winter. Um, or things you would use in the winter since not as much is growing then. And it's going to vary by where you live, but it's designed so you're basically doing one a month. So there's chickweed, and there's a glare, chickweed, violet, plantain, a lemon balm, and I'm just coming back to this for a minute. I like that there's a mix of boys and girls and there's a mix of ethnicities. Um, they tried to make it so that the ethnicity of the fairy is based on where that herb originated. So that's pretty cool. Uh, chamomile. Calendula. Uh, marshmallow. Yep, yeah, marshmallow. Let's see. Elderberry, or elder. Burdock. Pine, in particular white pine. Um, we looked for the eastern white pine and we have some around us. Rose. Cinnamon. And dandelion. So those are the 13 books and um, I did get a copy, a print copy of these books and again there's also digital versions and mp3 versions. Then you also get access to the online site um, which includes an, a magazine, an online magazine for each of that features each of the herbs and that has fantastic information in it. Um, there's a lot of information like scientific and um, pictures and everything on the herb in general. There is craft. There are crafts. There is a story, um, herbal lore, if you will, um, and recipes um, that you can do. And there's often other activities too, such as mazes and word searches included. Um, so those, in, in and of themselves, are a little treasure trove um, of things. And then also on the online site, you will find coloring pages that go with the um, with each fairy. Um, additional little set of recipes that go with each and um, and then some pages on um, the, the scientific information and places to take notes on the herb. So um, there is a lot of info packed in this website. I don't really have a great way of showing it to you but that just gives you a general idea of all the resources you will be getting if you get this program. So how do we use it? So um, I use it in my homeschool for my preschooler, my kindergartner, and myself. Um, and I think that this could be adapted for a wide range of ages. So the way I'm using it right now is really simple, but you could just add more and more on. And I'm not even using um, some of the resources that are given that I think could be great for using it with older children. So I start by reading us the story. This usually takes I want to say a week, but it actually usually takes less than a week because we often do more than one chapter a day. I think they all have, I think there's about six chapters each. So um, I plan to take one to two weeks on each one reading through the book. And then I also read the uh, story in the online magazine on the herbal lore for that um, herb. And while I'm reading to them, I actually print out, um, they each have a binder. So this is actually my daughter's and this is my son's. Um, these are printouts from that we found online. They each have a different one, so we can tell if there's a part. Um, but 
uh, I print out the um, herb fairy herself or his self, the coloring page for them to do. And then I also print out the coloring page from, there's a coloring page included in the, oops, in the online magazine that I also include that, um, I think all but one so far, or they all have included an animal along with the herb. Um, so the kids really like that too. So I print those both out for them. Um, and they will color while I read often. <laughs> I don't know if I have a good example in here. They don't get a lot of the coloring done because they're so engrossed in the story. Uh, this one, I think she came back to later and then did extra things and notes. Um, so that, that is the basics of what we do there because it has been a busy year. There have been herbs that that's all we've done with them. And, um, you know what, I'm okay with it because it's a program that we can come back to year after year and add on um, and expand our knowledge. So um, I'm perfectly fine if we keep it simple now. We do enjoy doing more though. Um, oh, I should say, I the other thing that I have done for each one too is I print out, um, there's songs and poems in the, herb, in the online um, magazine for each one. And I do print that out and we sing the song for each of the herbs in our morning time. So when, when we're focusing, this one's rose, which we're starting next, um, we should be doing this week. Um, when we're reading that book for the one to two weeks, we will just do that particular herb song every day in morning time. Um, other days when, when we're not doing a particular herb at the time, we will go back and just review um, the ones that we've already done. So that's um, the song. So I will keep, I will, this will be going in my morning time clipboard this week um, for that. And then um, ideally I would be doing recipes for each one. We started off doing um, chick with chickweed. We did make um, a chickweed oil and we found and ate a bunch of chickweed. I, I like it on burgers myself. Um, my daughter just likes to eat it plain out of the garden. Um, which was a little bit tricky where we used to live because um, a lot of it was growing on the side of paths and um, they do spray some of those areas so I couldn't actually let her eat all of it. Um, I, she could only eat it from areas that I knew were safe. Um, but she has plants, like it's one of the plants that has to be grown in her garden plot and um, I'm gonna see if I can sprinkle seeds in kind of partly shady spots throughout our yard and uh, see if we can make more chickweed grow so she can find more that's safe to eat this spring. The other thing we started off doing, but again, because it's been uh, quite the busy year, lots of things going on, we haven't gotten to as much as I would like, but I think would be a great addition, um, and I will try to do probably next year, is um, draw or paint the herb. Um, so there's actually little Magic Keepers journal pages included. Um, with the program and so I had printed out the one for chickweed for her and she did draw it she the the flowers are white which she knows but she she wanted them to show so she used purple um, and if you have older kids it has space for the common name botanical name family um, and there's a lot more pages like this where they could really go into more depth um, on the herb let me show you one more I printed out for chickweed um, it's a list of uses from the book so if you're going back over the book and thinking how was this used? Where does it like to grow? And then you can write your own experiences with chickweed. With chickweed. Um, so those are really, really helpful and something I think I will probably try to do more when we come back to it. Um, and if you have a kindergartner, first grader, elementary schooler, or even a middle schooler that's interested in herbs, um, that they could do this program on their own, um, that is a really, really good resource. For myself, I wanted to make a little book as well, and so I got myself this nice watercolor book, and at the moment, I'm not remembering which one it was, which one it is, um, I will go look it up and link it below, um, but it's really nice watercolors, and this is my chickweed or stellaria page um, where I observed and painted it and then made notes on what it can be used for and notes on the, the herb itself. So my goal was to do this for each herb. Um, I didn't get to all of them. I did violet. I have to go over that in pen still. And I think I did. I started drawing lemon balm. <laughs> um, 
But again, we can come back to this. Um, I think that would be a really cool idea too. Or you could even just include it in your nature journal if you're, if you're doing a nature journal. So pros and cons. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have any cons. I absolutely adore this program. And you don't really have to be super into nature or plants to enjoy it. Um, and I think you could really enjoy it at any age. Um, I think I would especially recommend it to homeschoolers, to um, people who are interested in herbs, to maybe nature schools or co-ops. Um, I think those could all be wonderful places where you could really use this to the fullest. We are learning so much with this program. And I mean, when we go out now and we see herbs or even if we're just having to buy the herb at the grocery store, we go to a, a place that has bulk herbs. Um, it's like seeing old friends or when I'm walking around my yard and I'm like, hey plantain, hey dandelion, even in the winter I see um, I see some remnants of them shooting up and it's, it really is like seeing old friends and um, my daughter has really loved getting to know them and um, she just, she has her favorites obviously, um, but they both love listening to the books um, and and it's something that can really grow with us. Um, as I was showing you some of the resources that we haven't even used yet, and there's more online that I didn't, I didn't even show you because I knew that they were maybe a little bit beyond my kids um, and that we could get there in later years. So I hope this video helps uh, more people learn about this program because I think it would be wonderful if um, more kids and adults um, knew more about the healing power of our plants, of our herbs, and also I think it encourages you to care more for the environment and um, where take pride and care in where you are living. So that is my review of Learning Herbs Herb Fairy program. Um, I believe they open up the program each spring. Um, we got ours um, in March, I believe. So um, if it's something you're interested in, go check out the website, I will link it below. Um, I'm not sure if they have it available all the time now or if again, it's just open in the spring. Click that thumbs up button below and subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you later. How do we know it's chickweed? Oval leaves, little white flower. You want to show, show the camera?